Hi everyone, I do want to let you know about Google Classroom. I've been posting these videos, um, like a math lesson and a read aloud and writing. That is something just for the kids' enjoyment. I do say um, if you want to do a writing activity with it, I suggest what you can do. Um, it's nothing that you have to turn in, so there is not a turn in button, okay? So here is my story, A Grand Old Tree. This is by Mary, by the author Mary Noelle de Palma. Once there was a grand old tree. Her roots sank deep into the earth. Her arms reached high into the sky. Anybody know what the purpose um, of roots are for a plant? I think one is to drink up water and another one is to make sure that the plant doesn't fly away when it's windy. She was home to many creatures. Birds nested among her branches. Squirrels scurried through the leaves. Caterpillars and ladybugs crawled about. The grand old tree flowered. bore fruit. And sowed seeds. She had many children. So children meaning that she's going to start, they're going to, um, the seeds planted into the grass, into the soil, and up is growing a new tree. They changed the landscape for miles around, perhaps even further than the old tree knew. So her children, which means little plants that are going to grow into the trees, a bird can carry a seed far away, drop it, it gets into the soil, and then it starts to grow another tree. The grand old tree lived a long, long time. She basked in the sun, bathed in the rain, swayed in the breeze, and danced in the wind. So you can see just the different seasons. She grew and shed millions of leaves. At last, the grand old tree was very, very old. Her branches no longer swayed and danced but cracked and snapped in the wind. So look what the author did here. It's pretty cool. Kind of arched her writing here and went very, very old. And I think the author wants us to get the idea of, look, look at the old tree. It's kind of bending down, about ready to break, just like her words are bending down, slanting down. It's pretty cool if you want to try that in your writing sometime. Finally, she fell and snow gently covered her. The old tree died. She no longer flowered, bore tree or bore fruit, or sowed seeds. But she still was home to many creatures. Raccoons nested in her trunk. Centipedes crawled along her branches, and lichen grew on her bark. Hmm, lichen is something that we don't hear all the time, but you may have noticed what it is. You just didn't know what it was called. So I looked on uh, Google Images, and I typed in lichen, and there is a tree trunk right there, and then this white stuff kind of growing on it, that's the lichen. So look for that sometime, and then you can go, oh, I know what lichen is. And you can see it here growing. The grand old tree slowly crumbled. She became part of the earth. Today the roots of her grandchildren sink deep into this earth. Their arms reach high into the sky. So what does it mean her arms or their arms reach high into the sky? Do they actually have arms? No, it's just the branches. They are home to many creatures. Just like the grand old tree. 
So if you do want to do a writing activity with this, you can write, why are trees important? Why are trees important? Think of animals, think of how they're important to us. Think of how they're important to the environment. Okay, I'll see you later.